here on site, we have a window view 40 here. Uh, what we're going to do is the same for view 40 or view 30, and that is we're going to change the Y motor. Uh, our Y motor has worn out. We saw there was um, the fluid from inside, the oil, all across the arm. So we knew we had a problem with our Y motor. Come up to replace it. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to remove this plastic shield right here. We're going to unplug the machine from inside right here. This is the top of the two electric plugs. Now we're powered down, everything's safe. There are a couple sets of wires. We're going to unplug this top set of wires. This controls the Y motor by unplugging this. It allows us to easily move the um, arm up and down. We're going to bring this arm up. And I'm going to use this same shield I just took off to hold the arm while I take the hand off. Because we have to take this assembly part to replace this Y motor. This is your Y motor. This is what makes the arm of the machine go up and down. This is what powers that by moving this rod. So we're going to remove that. Remove the handy. So there's two catches here. We carefully remove these. And then you have two more catches here. You push down and you pull your hand out and the hand is removed. You are then going to bring your arm back down. Here on the far left hand side of your arm is a screw. This screw must be removed from these black plates that, that the machine rides up and down on. Now if you've already taken your money out of the coin box, I like to keep my screws in the coin box so I don't lose them. The next step is to, to go to this shaft, which is similar to the drive shaft on your vehicle. We're going to follow that down. These are spring-loaded, and they're what attach the arm to these two pieces that slide up down the rails. We're going to pull back on the spring. Make sure the arm is in the down position when you do that, because now you've released it. And then we're just going to lift up, carefully remove the arm. It is still, as you can see, attached to the wires. We don't need to remove any of that. An important thing to know about this spring-loaded piece here is that when you take off this end cap, as we are in a minute, that you do not want to have that spring under pressure shoot out of there. So you're going to carefully put that aside. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. First, though, we need to remove this end cap. This end cap is removed by re removing these two screws. You can see one of the screws has a ground wire attached to it. That ground wire is feeding through this hole. Moving the second screw, once again, we're placing our screws in our coin box. These are the smaller screws. Now we're going back to this spring-loaded piece here. I'm going to pull back on that while I remove the, the end cap and hold on to it. I'm going to put the end cap aside and carefully pull this off. The spring is down inside there. Do not want to lose that spring. All right, so I'm going to take this piece with the spring in it, and I'm also going to put that in my coin box. It's very simple now. We're going to remove, as you see, there's another ground wire coming to here. It's the bottom of these two. I'm going to remove that. And this whole metal piece is now going to slide out. I'm going to put that aside so I remember how it went. I'm going to orient it in the same direction. I'm now going to remove the second set of wires that go to my Y motor. I'm going to hold this shaft so I don't lose the spring on the other side because each side of this is, is spring loaded. Uh, and I'm going to slide this Y motor off the shaft. I'm going to put that aside over here because I do not want to accidentally use that same bad Y motor. Look here, you can see oil that has come out of that Y motor. And that's how we knew the Y motor was bad. It should not be leaking oil all over this machine. So this machine, the Y motor, when it broke, was actually close to this uh, door panel here. And you can see there's oil splattered all over the side of the door. Um, also, you see these streaks. If you have streaks like this in your View 40, you have a problem in that your 
arm doesn't fit the machine properly, and that's what wore out our Y motor. So the arm was too tight. It was grinding as it went up and down the machine. That eventually wore out the Y motor and caused all that oil to spurt there. We're now going to take our replacement Y motor. There's a slot here closest to you, and there's a matching piece on your Y motor. That's going to fit into there. There's also one on the other side of your Y motor. So you're going to put both of those in so that your Y motor is securely fastened. Feed the shaft into it and then slide it along. When it comes down here, there's this fin sticking out on this piece and that is going to feed right in to this groove right here. Then I'm going to take this metal piece we put aside. Once again, looking at the two grooves where we fed our Y motor in, you're going to feed this piece in as well. Now, we pick up that spring-loaded piece we had before, make sure the spring's still in there. We put that back in place. We put our end cap back on over that. Everything looks good there. Everything looks aligned properly. Once that piece is fed on, we're going to reach back into our coin box. We're going to take one of the small screws. We're going to put it right here in this hole. We're going to put the one that doesn't have the ground. We're going to do that first to hold things in place. We feed this ground wire back through this hole. And take, reaching into our coin box, our other small screw. Run it through the ground wire eyelet and reattach that. We're going to attach this larger group of wires. It has the four wires coming from the Y motor to the middle section. Click that into place. We're then going to take this loose ground wire that's coming from this metal plate and attach that back over here. There's a chance that your machine doesn't have these ground wires. The early views did it and there were kits uh, to later modify them. And you might have copper pieces, um, you may have something screwed in here, but you should have some sort of grounding kit on your machine. Now we're going to leave these wires here loose because these attach to the motor and, and the drive portion of our Y motor. So we want to be able to move our arm up and down freely while we work on this. I'm going to do this by lifting this left side up so that I can bring it into place. Please notice that there is here a hole, a socket on this right side and there's also a peg to go into that socket coming off of here. So you'll know you have it fed in properly when that goes in. Holding the arm in place, I'm going to bring this piece up so I can feed that shaft into that and then bring it down into place. Now if you remember that large screw, the first thing we put in our coin box, I'm going to take that and put it back into here. If your arm is set up properly, that screw should go in easily. If the screw does not go in easily, the other side is probably not aligned properly. Okay, I'm now going to lift my arm back up. Hold this piece back so that I can reattach the mechanical hand. You can see those little rails? These rails go on top of those rails. And it slides in and clicks into place. I then click each of these sets of wires carefully into place. And our hand is reattached. With this wire still detached, I can easily lift this arm. And I'm lifting it from the, from the balance point, not the center because that will we'll cause the tilt, but from the balance point over here. And I'm going to look and see if it's lined up evenly. If not, I'm going to adjust the height of the, of 
the arm on the right or the left side so that it vents properly. And it actually looks like it's a little bit higher on this side. I pull this out and then feed it back in and it should be leveled now. So we'll check. And now our arm looks level. I now reattach the top wire. And now I replace this cover because otherwise I could, when I test it, I could possibly catch and damage these wires. All right, so now we replace our coin box. All of our parts are finished. Plug the machine back in. And now it's time to test the machine, see if we fixed everything properly. Look at that, go straight up. Ah, I missed something. I didn't feed this wiring harness back into this channel over here properly. So I'm going to unplug the machine again, remove our protective cover, unplug that wire. Now it lifts up easily, and I make sure that this is in its proper channel. Now I can reattach the wire. Replace the corrective cover. Plug it back in.